When a Nexus S and a Samsung Focus love each other very much, you get something that looks like this. The Ativ Odyssey for Verizon Wireless is Samsung's first Windows Phone 8 device for the United States. I'm Michael Fisher. This is Pocket Now. Let's review it. The Ativ Odyssey is a mid-range offering, available now on Verizon Wireless for $50 on contract. For the full text of our quick review, including benchmarks, photos, and more, visit us at pocketnow.com and follow us in the links down in the description. Like its higher-end sibling, the Ativ S, the Odyssey isn't necessarily going to turn heads across the room, but close up, it's a fairly attractive device. Its 11mm thickness is substantial relative to its 125 gram weight, but it doesn't feel too toy-like in the hand, and its medium size means the power standby and volume keys are always within easy reach. The display, though, is disappointing. Its 4-inch 480 by 800 resolution is typical for the mid-range, but for some reason pixels are especially visible on this Super AMOLED panel, and color reproduction is off. It's a serviceable display, but no more than that. The Ativ Odyssey doesn't lag too far behind in the spec sheet. It packs the familiar Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus at 1.5 GHz, backed up by a gig of RAM. There's only 8 gigs of onboard storage available, but that's augmented by up to 64 gigs of micro SD expansion, and the 2100 milliamp hour battery is also removable for quick swapping. The primary shooter is a 5 megapixel module. The Odyssey packs plenty of horsepower under the hood, especially for the price. It's just a question of how willing you are to deal with a lackluster display and the typically oversized Verizon branding that determines whether you can live with this phone for a two-year contract period. The Ativ Odyssey we tested was running one of the latest builds of Windows Phone 8, and it delivered the consistent near one-to-one -one responsiveness and the stability and reliability we've come to expect from Windows Phone. Samsung's suite of custom apps is still pretty anemic compared to Nokia's, but there are a few new titles here, so at least it's growing. Some titles from other OEMs have also been made available across the entire Windows Phone 8 lineup, and Nokia Drive Beta worked just fine on the Odyssey. It only got us lost in suburban America once. Now, Verizon has loaded the Odyssey with some bloatware, but it's not much, and most of it is pretty useful. Out of the box, there's an NFL mobile app for fans of the pigskin, VZ Navigator, a paid service which we found pretty useful in a past review, and Microsoft's excellent DataSense utility, which we've also reviewed positively. Again, you can find those write-ups at pocketnow.com. All told, on the software side, Samsung is still doing a fair job on Windows Phone 8. Its custom app selection isn't the best, but it's also not the worst, and it's still growing. Testing the Ativ Odyssey in the urban Greater Boston and rural Eastern Long Island service areas gave us the chance to see how the device performed on both LTE and CDMA data networks. Reception was good, with the device averaging higher LTE speeds than we're used to seeing from Verizon, but 3G performance was quite slow. Voice calls were clear over the earpiece, but as usual, the speakerphone needs much higher gain in phone calling mode to be useful. On our end, the noise cancellation was pretty inconsistent, but caller said we sounded about average as long as we were in quiet conditions. The camera was the big surprise with the Ativ Odyssey. We weren't expecting much from the 5 megapixel shooter on the back, but despite the lower resolution, the unit delivered results that were on par with the Ativ S in our earlier comparison, meaning the results are also on par with the very good Galaxy S3 and Galaxy Note 2 cameras, at least in terms of color saturation, white balance, and so on. How long you'll be able to take those shots before the battery gives up is, as always, dependent on your usage. The Odyssey's battery is about average in terms of capacity, and its performance in that regard follows. With moderate usage, it should last you a full day. The Ativ Odyssey is yet another installment in the increasingly long line of good mid-range Windows Phone 8 devices. It's not the bomb blast we were hoping for from Samsung's first WP8 device for the US, but for $50 on contract on America's largest carrier, it's a solid value. If you can put up with the lackluster display and the ho-hum physical design, this is a good Windows phone for your money. We give it a solid 7 out of 10. Folks, don't forget to check out our Ativ Odyssey versus Ativ S comparison video. Check out the written review at pocketnow.com and be sure to follow us in the links in the description below. Once again, I'm Michael Fisher for Pocket Now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
But out here, you know, I, I mean, I can't, I can't hear a damn thing you're saying because you're invisible and imaginary. That's, it's not good. No. No. This is me being confused and lost in the wilderness.